Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of Getto Plugins. Today I'll show you how you can show text and image tooltip in WooCommerce variation swatches. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. For demonstration purpose, I have created two variable products. Both of the products are connected with the global size attribute with five variations. If you hover over the variations, you'll notice attribute variations now showing only the variations name in the tooltip by default. But you may also want to show text or image in the tooltip like this product. Or maybe you don't want to show any tooltip like this one. So let me show you how you can do this. From the product backend, head to attributes from products. From size attribute, click on configure terms to go inside the variation list page. Go inside the first variation by clicking on edit. You'll see there is no such option named tooltip because it's the premium feature of variation searches for WooCommerce. So first I need to activate the premium version of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin. To purchase the premium version of the plugin, go to the link getplugins.com. Click on Plugins and click on Variation Swatches for WooCommerce. Now purchase the plugin. Once you purchase the plugin, then download the zip file of the plugin. Now head to the product backend and navigate to Add New from Plugins. Click on Upload Plugin. Choose the downloaded zip file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. So now premium version of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin installed and activated. Now get back to the first variation edit mode and refresh the page. You can see a new option show tooltip is added to this page. The feature show tooltip comes with three different options, text, image, and no. You can add your desired text in the attribute variations globally with the text option in the tooltip. With image option, you can add your desired image in the attribute variations globally in the tooltip. And finally, with no option, you can hide the tooltip feature globally. First of all, I'll show you the text tooltip option. So select text from show tooltip and give you desired text in the tooltip text field. Now update the variation. Go back to the variation list page. I'll do the same for the second variation. Click on edit. Set the desired tooltip text and finally update the variation. Now go to the front end of both the products. Reload the page for both the products to see the new changes. You can see First two variations are showing the customized text in the tooltip for both the products. As I have set the tooltip text globally for first two variations, so all products connected with this attribute variations will show the customized text in the tooltip. Now I am going to add image tooltip for the third and fourth variations. To do so, go back to the variation list page. Click on edit for third variation. Select image type from show tooltip option and click on upload or add image button and set your desired image for the tooltip. Now update the variation. I'll do the same for the fourth variation. I'll select the image tooltip type and set my desired image. Finally, I'll update the variation. Now again head to the front end of both the products and reload both the pages. You can see my third and fourth variations are now showing image tooltip for both the products. Like I said text tooltip for first two variations, I have set the tooltip image globally for third and fourth variations, so all products connected with these attribute variations are now showing the customized images in the tooltip. Now I'll show you how to hide tooltip for any variation. To do so, go back to the variation list page. Click on edit for the last variation. Select no type from the show tooltip option 
and finally update the variation. Go back to the front end of both the products and reload both the pages. So you can see in both of the products for the last variation tooltip is not showing anymore. Now I'll show you another setting of the tooltip feature. Let's assume you don't want to show text or image tooltip globally for both of the products. That means you want to change the text or image in the tooltip only for a single product connected with the global size attribute but not for all the products. First I'll show you how you can do it for the text tooltip. So if you want to do it then go to the edit mode of first product as I only want to change the text in the tooltip in the first variation of the first product. Now navigate to swatches settings. Expand the size attribute and click on the specific variation for which you want to change the tooltip text. As I want to change the text in the first variation, so I clicked on it. Select text from show tooltip. Add your desired text in the tooltip text field and then save the changes. Now go to the front end of both the products and reload both the pages. So you can see for the first product, my second variation is still showing the text in the tooltip that I added globally. But the first variation is showing the newly added text in the tooltip. But for my second product, both first and second variations are showing the globally added text in the tooltip. Now I'll show you how to change image tooltip for a single product. To do so, again go to the edit mode of the product for which you want to change the image. Now navigate to swatches settings. Expand the size attribute and click on the specific variation for which you want to change the tooltip image. As I want to change the image in the fourth variation, so I clicked on it. Select image from show tooltip and click on add or upload image and choose your desired image. Finally save the changes. Now go to the front end of both the products and refresh both the pages. So you can see for the second product, my third variation is still showing the image in the tooltip that I added globally. But my fourth variation is showing the newly added text in the tooltip. But for my first product, both third and fourth variations are showing the globally added images in the tooltip. Now let me show you another setting. To show you this setting, I need to go to the back end of the product and navigate to swatches. From simple settings, you can see the option enable tooltip. By default, tooltip option is enabled. You can turn off the tooltip feature globally by unchecking the option enable tooltip on each product attribute. Save the changes and again go to the front end of both the products. Reload the pages. So now you can see tooltip is hidden from the attribute variations for both of the products globally. If you find this tutorial helpful then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.